So we need to round 72.5039 to the nearest whole number, the nearest tenth, the nearest hundredth, and the nearest thousandth. So for the nearest whole number, we find our units, and if we look along to the tenths, because we have five tenths, we need to round up. So that's 73 to the nearest whole number. Now for the nearest tenth, we find our tenths column, and because we have zero in the hundredths, we're rounding down, so we have 72.5. Now for the nearest hundredth, we find our hundredths digit, and now if we look across to our thousandths digit, we can see that we're rounding down. So we could write 72.50 as our answer. But remember, a zero on the end of a decimal number doesn't change that number, so we can just write 72.5 as our answer. Now it might seem confusing that when we round to the nearest tenth and the nearest hundredth, we get the same answer. But we should be familiar with this because of what we know about rounding whole numbers. So let's imagine that we had 725,039. We can see here that rounding to the nearest thousand and to the nearest hundred would give us the same answer. We'd get 725,000 for both. But just as rounding to different whole number place values can sometimes give us the same answer, so can rounding to the nearest decimal place value. But to finish this question off, we can round to the nearest thousandth, so we can see that we're rounding up, so that's 72.504. So pause the video and see if you can round 46.0409 to the nearest whole number, tenth, hundredth and thousandth. For the nearest whole number, we can see that we're rounding down, so we have 46. Now for the nearest tenth, we're rounding down, so the zero in our tenths stays a zero. But rather than writing 46.0, we can write 46, because 46.0 is the same as 46. So rounding to the nearest tenth can give us a whole number as our answer. Just as for whole numbers, rounding to the nearest thousand could give us a multiple of 10,000 as our answer. Now to the nearest hundredth, if we look across we have a zero, so we need to round down to 46.04. And to the nearest thousandth, if we look across we have a nine, so we need to round up, so we have 46.041.